Hello, what is up guys? Eman from Peso Smart PH here. Welcome sa pinabagong episode. Shout out to all the podcast listeners as well. I appreciate you all. Today, let's talk about compounding interest. So as you can see here sa screen nyo, meron akong ginawang compounding interest time table. So this is 30 years. Nagsaspan siya in about 30 years. And yung investment na ilalagay mo or huhulugan mo kumbaga every single month or kukomit mo na pera is around 1,000 pesos every single month. So that will sum up to around 12,000 pesos na investment every single year. And then i-assume natin na 5% yung maging growth ng investment mo every single year. And then since nire-reinvest mo lang lahat ng kinita mo, so doon nag-kick in yung compounding interest. Kumbaga, interest on interest. So, nag-grow na yung iyong capital. So, mas bumili ka pa na mas madami ng asset na yun or ng stock na yun na nagbibigay ng dividends. And then, since bumili ka nga ng mas madaming stocks, ibig sabihin yung kinita mo na dividends from the previous year, mag-earn na ulit ng dividends the next year or the following years. So, yung yearly income nyo dito, kita nyo naman na tumataas siya every single year. Kasi nga, nire-reinvest nyo lang yung mga kinita nyo previously. So, kung consistent ka lang na 1,000 pesos yung ininvest in 30 years, and then assuming na 5% steady yung growth, in about 30 years, yung making total mo is 837,129 and 48 centavos. And let's assume na net na yan after taxes. But of course, if you want to compute, then you have to multiply this by 0.9. Kasi yun lang naman yung, what you call this, yung taxes na in-impose sa dividend payments. Although, if ibebenta mo lahat ng stocks mo, then that is a different thing. Iba yung computation ng taxes kapag ka nagbenta ka. Mas mababa, mababa din naman yung rate, but yung sa dividend payments, yun yung fixed na 10% kahit magkano pa yung makuha mo. Whether that's 1,000 pesos per year or 1 million pesos per year. And ang maganda kasi dito, if for example, sa so first 5 years of your working life or of your career, sabi natin na sa year 6 to 10, medyo kaya mo ng taasan yung, yung gusto mong or yung ihuhulog mo. So, pwede natin gawin na 5,000 dito. So, pangit ng format. Yan. So, sa year 6 to 10 mo, ginawa mong 5K. So, kita nyo kung gaano kalaki yung naigin difference. So, yan yung power ng compounding. And then, sabi natin sa year 11 to 15, dinoble mo ulit yung contribution mo. So, kaya mo na mag-invest after 10 years of working or for example, nagkaroon ka na ng business or mga, may mga side hustles ka. Kaya mo na mag-invest mag dito sa mga dividend paying stocks mo passively ng around 10,000 pesos. And sabihin natin, year 16 to 20, mas pumalo pa yung kitaan. Naging 20k na per year. Well, hindi per year, per month. So, kita nyo kung gaano nagra-ramp up after just 20 years, if nag-contribute kayo ng tigo 1K lang or tigo 5K, then 10K, 20K, nag-increase siya every, uh, every 5 years, then doble nyo lang. Then, kita nyo dito, year 20 nyo, 142,000 na yung potential na pwede nyo kitain on a 5% interest growth. So, pwede yan mag-fluctuate. Siyempre, pwede siyang bumaba, but ang maganda dito, may upside siya. Paano kung maging 10%? So, madadoble itong 142, di ba? Paano kung naging 15%? So, matitriple ito. So, ganun siya nag-work. Ito yung power ng compounding interest. And I can't stress this enough. I think as a beginner and as a newbie sa investing, sa, pers- sa journey nyo, sa personal finance, kapag ka bagong graduate pa lang kayo, kapag ka newly grad pa lang kayo, I think you have to understand compounding interest. And kalimitan kasi nasa flip side tayo or nasa kabilang side tayo ng compounding interest. No? 
Kasi for example, we're, meron tayong mortgage, magbabayad tayo ng condo, magbabayad tayo ng lupa, magbabayad tayo ng what you call this, ng property. So, uutangin natin yan, whether sa pag-ibig or sa bank. So, ang nag-earn ng compounding, hindi naman compounding interest, I believe, yung what you call this, yung computation nun, but still, nagbabayad ka ng interest dun sa inutang mo na pera sa banko or sa pag-ibig or whatever. Organization or business ka umutang. ba? Diba? But, kapag ka, napunta ka sa kabilang side ng coin, ikaw na yung mag-earn ng interest, ba? Diba? Sa mga investments mo. And ang kagandahan dyan, pwede kang i-take advantage mo yung compounding interest. Sinabi nga ni, ni Albert Einstein na yung compounding interest is the eighth wonder of the world. Kasi diba meron tayong seven wonders dito sa mundo and I think every year yon na update. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, sinabi niya na eighth wonder of the world yung compounding interest. And kapag ka naintindihan mo nga yung compounding interest, you will avoid paying that interest and instead mapupunta ka mapupunta ka sa kabilang side ng coin and you will earn interest from your money so yun continue natin to sabi natin mas lumaki pa yung income mo kaya mo na ngayon ng 40k up until your year 25 and dito sabi natin 80k na so yaman mo na ito <laughs> Kaya mo na mag-invest 80k every single month. But of course, like that's your 26th year. Sa, for example, sa business or sa career or sa job. So, kita nyo dito. 314. Then, naging 378 per year. 445. 515. 589. And 666. So, for me, ah, for me, sa, sa, para sa lifestyle ko, I'm not overly inflating my lifestyle but this is my target like around 500k a year of passive income from from my investment sa stock market so yung goal ko talaga is around 10 10 million pesos yun yung gusto kong i-build na portfolio para i can just i can probably quit my job or for example hindi na maging ganun ka involved sa business if ever maabot ko yung goal na yun or like kung mas mataasan pa di ba kasi like 500k a year i think that's enough to to live a comfortable life like i mean yung circumstance ko it can it may change in the future kasi right now i'm just picturing this as a single person so wala akong sinusuportahan na spouse wala akong sinusuportahan na anak or anything like that so Yung, yung goal na yon is just for me and I think that's more than enough for me for I mean 500 k is like around 41 ish k every single month without you actually doing anything diba? so I can just do anything I want at that point if maabot ko yung goal na yon so yeah I mean it it will take a while no if if we do this kind of approach so if you're lucky enough na medyo malaki na yung kinikita mo sa first few years or first 10 years of your career, then you can probably ramp this up, no? Sabi natin, instead of 1K sa susunod na taon, maging 2K na or maging 5K na agad. And then dito sa year 6 to 10, gawin mo ng 10K agad every single year. So, all personally for me, I invest as much as I can every single month para, yun nga, mas mapalaki yung portfolio ko and para ma-achieve yung goal na 10M <laughs> and in para kumita ng sabi natin naglalaro nga sa 500k 400, 500, 600 it, it really depends kung ano yung dividend yield ng mga stocks na hinahawakan ko at at that time so yun, I just want to share this illustration with you guys para magkaroon kayo ng idea how compounding interest work and how you can take advantage of this as well. Especially again, para sa mga newbies and sa mga newly grads out there na naghanap ng, for example, resource. Ano ba yung magandang strategy to implement for you to actually grow your money, no? Kesa, for example, ibayad nyo sa mga courses dyan. 
<laughs> sa mga coaching na they will they will just teach you random random stuff especially sa TA technical analysis sobrang sobrang basic na pwede niyo i-google or pwede niyo hanapin sa YouTube na mas valuable pa yung maituturo sa inyo so instead of doing that just just invest on your own learn on your own and test the waters no kumbaga and you will you will make mistakes along the way and you have to accept that and you have to learn from that of course but at the end of the day you're making that mistake and syempre wag kang mag ape in sa sobrang risky na asset diba it's okay to make mistakes say yung stepping stones mo to towards success so lahat ng mga failures mo lahat ng mga failed investments mo lahat yon may matututunan kayo so instead of you know again throwing away your money sa mga fake gurus and sa mga courses na yun nga kinapi pass lang or kinapi paste lang sa <laughs> sa seminar ng iba sa webinar ng iba tapos yung bi- gino- gino- lang ng branding ng sarili lang pangalan dahil sikat sila sa sa social media di ba <laughs> you're gonna waste your time you're gonna waste your money and inyong inyong mga pinakamahalagang resources natin dito sa mundo especially time diba you're gonna waste your time and sadly you're gonna waste your money so again learn on your own y- yes may mga valuable na mga resources paid resources out there but take most of them it's it's crap but yeah again i digress <laughs> kung saan na tayo punta but share this with a friend share this with your family and i think this can change your perspective and the perspective of other people around you hopefully this helps and then natin yung episode here guys sana may natutunan kayo and if umabot kayo at the end of this episode thank you very much i appreciate you if natripan nyo yung content ko then give this video a thumbs up If hindi nyo naman nagustuhan, give this video a thumbs down. If bago ka sa channel ko, click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell para wala mo miss out sa mga uploads ko every single day. You may follow me sa mga social media platforms ko. I'm on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at MNPS page. You may support the channel by becoming a YouTube member. Merong link dyan sa description sa baba. Alternatively, you may support the channel by using my affiliate links sa Shopee or sa Lazada if may bibilin kayo doon. Thanks again for watching and listening everyone. Stay safe. I'll see you all in the next episode. Always remember, be passive smart.